Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and I thought today would just be an awesome opportunity to update our Netron CLU video with the actual release version. So if you're not familiar, Netron CLU is this app that you see in front of you, and it is a Windows-based program for configuring Netron nodes from Obsidian Controls from Alation. We've always liked these nodes uh, for a variety of reasons, but this app really makes a big difference, especially if you are constantly and often deploying networks that have multiple nodes on them. It's if you've done it the old way of just entering IP addresses and remembering them and entering them in spreadsheets and all that jazz. There's a lot of things inside of CLU, especially now that it's a release version and it's, you know, actually out there in public that are really going to help you out. I am in the current release right now at the time of this recording, application version 1.10, uh, which I just uh, went ahead and got. So I know it's the latest. And when you load up initially, it refreshes. So I'll just hit this and it'll show you. And I, it's going to find whatever's on your network that's a Netron device. So in this case, I just grabbed the two nodes that I have right now here at the studio, which happened to be a EP2 and an RDM10. Now, First thing we're going to see is the red globe. So this is telling me that they are set in a different IP address range than what the computer set at. And that is true because I had them on a show network just running the default ArtNet settings in Onyx, which are the, the two dots. So let's walk into what we can do in here. There's a lot we can do. First is when you have multiple nodes of the same type, you can flip on this identify and the indicator lights flash on and off on the device that you got. Um, so that's awesome because then you can go in here and could just change stuff right here so you could call this you know backstage right and you could go and call this foh and now those are named and so you know what they are when you launch this software you can get to them easily this is huge if you're doing a lot of installations or even temporary shows where you just have a gaggle of netron nodes and identify them set them up name them you know what they are if you need to change something quickly it's easy to do no having to go to your spreadsheet with ip addresses and find it just launch the program. Uh, so next we've got the red world. The red world tells us that it's outside of the IP address range of this network. So I'm going to go ahead and move this one into our network. Um, so I double click here. I think that's why stuff like the DMX ports is not working. We're going to find out. And I'm just going to kick it on DHCP because I got a router. This is just, you know, the office network here. It's on the internet, all that good stuff. And so We'll go ahead and do that, and we should see it come back in a minute. Yeah, so it disappeared. Perfect. And then once it reboots, it should show right back up, and we should be able to work with it. So boom, it showed up. Now you see the difference here between one that's not in our range and one that is. Now, the huge thing about this is if you've worked with nodes in the past and you had one that was set outside of the range of your IP address, you pretty much couldn't find it, right? Unless you knew what IP address it was set to, a lot of times you'd have to do a factory reset, I mean, if like a lot of the Netron nodes, it had a screen, sure, you could change it. But how stinking easy is it that you could just go in here, stick it on your network, hit refresh, you know, let it refresh, done. So stinking easy. Uh, what else can you do? So now we can actually unlock all the settings here and we can get to almost anything that's inside the menu settings of these Netron devices. And I tell you, CLU is such a game changer because like prior to CLU, I would you know, we'd recommend the EN4 all day long with the screen, the EN2, the EP1, uh, etc. cetera. Um, but now, for, even for people that change their settings a lot, the EP4, which is four DMX ports out, an incredible price, just no screen. Even that one's totally fine because you can just stick it on a network, launch CLU, and it finds it. And you change the IP address and you switch your settings and it's easy. So even if you change things a lot and you want to save some bucks, like the EPs are still awesome and CLU makes them more awesome, which is, again, one of those things I love about the Obsidian team is, you know, people get mad sometimes when manufacturers do things and they're like, ah, oh, it's just a money grab. But they consistently do stuff like this that makes their lower cost products a better buy. And so you go, oh, now the E. P4 is a better deal than it was before because it's easier to change the settings to, to deploy it quickly. And so it actually kind of pushes you towards a lower cost product. A lot of manufacturers wouldn't do that. Um, so let me just hit refresh here, make this guy pop back up. 
the cool thing about CLU is like every menu setting inside these these guys is in here. So for example, I see my RDM 10, it's it's behind on firmware. So I can go over here and I can go ahead and go, okay, it tells me, okay, no, it's not. It's it's on the current firmware. It tells me what the current one is, what the web firmware is, that's what's downloadable, and then you can update it. So sync and easy, I've done that before uh, many times, but you can literally access everything. So I could change all of the settings that I can get to on the menu screen from a remote computer. And so this is really a game changer, not only for live events, but also, or I should say, not only for installs, but also live events, uh, people that do those. Just being able to go and, you know, save load presets just straight from a computer that you can have it front of house. Don't have to walk backstage, etc. You know, you can set up the DMX ports, all of them. You can literally run and save the queues and, and mess with the, the internal queue options. Everything in here, everything that pretty much everything that this device can do, you can change remotely now through the CLU software. And it's just such a game changer because now whether you're just setting up two or three nodes for a live event or you're doing an install with 50 nodes, this is going to help you deploy them very quickly, very easily. And if you need to make changes, as long as the device is on the network that you're on or you're remoting in from afar, you can get to anything from here. And, and you can show all that info. You could change it, reset it, update it. All of this stuff is just so stinking easy inside of CLU. And oh yeah, it's free. So once again, another big win for the Netron devices. It's why we love them at Learn Stage Lighting and Learn Stage Lighting Gear by Above AVL. And if this piqued your interest and you say, hey, I'm interested in these nodes, you know, because not only are they really well priced, they have an exceptional feature set. Go check them out at LearnStageLightingGear.com or AboveAVL.com. Both work. And, uh, you know, add some to your cart. Add it to a quote request. Let's quote those out to you. We love to help you. Love to help make people succeed and make great lighting and have the tools they need to do so. So if you want to do that, check that out. If you're looking for more Onyx training, say you got into what we have here and you want more, check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs. We have complete A to Z top to bottom courses that we update with every version of Onyx so that it's always new and current. It's the online at your own pace way to learn everything there is in Onyx. Check that out as well. We'll see you there. Thanks.